I want to come across confident, and I know sometimes I can come across rude, but it's actually because deep down I'm a really shy person and I'm so put out my comfort zone. Oh, there you're right. Can, can, I, help you? can I just give you this to um, just put behind? It doesn't matter if you haven't got anything, but we haven't got anything at the moment, but we can keep your TV for six months yeah, if that. Right, good luck with your job search. See you later. Bye. This is so awkward. What are you supposed to say when you hand people your CV? Hiya. Hello. You all right? Yeah, I'm right. Can you hold one of these for me? OK. What's that, CV? Yeah. OK, brilliant. Have you got any sort of, like, retail or anything I like worked that? in a salon with my mum. OK, yeah. Uh, so I can do the till, I can do the customers. All right, then, Ellie. Yeah, I'll keep this. Thank and then you. I've got your contact details, so we'll let you know if Thank anything you. comes up. All right, love. Bye. Bye. Of all the salons on the high street, this is the one I can really see myself in. I just need to seem confident, even though I'm really not. Hiya! Hi! Hi. Can, can I, I give help? this to you, please? What's this? Your CV? Yeah, to see if you've got anything going. So I can see that you've been working at a different salon in the area. What was your experience like there? So, like, looking after clients, everyone had a drink. Mm hmm I have to pay. Shall we do a bit of like a trial shift? Feeling like I'm, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Happy with that? Yeah, I sound well. Exciting! Okay, thank you. No problem. See you later. See you later. I feel proud of myself actually. I've done it. I do, I do feel proud. Obviously, I put myself out there. I put, got put, I put myself out of my comfort zone. Um, and I achieved something at the end of it, so... Me and my beautiful baby boy, Khalil, are still at my mum's as I get to grips with being a parent. Getting Khalil to breastfeed has been quite a challenge. You know what, I'll just bottle feed him for now. You sure? Do you want me to give it to you? I've got it here. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, Webby, let mummy just strap up. I'm just not even a hungry cry. You're not even hungry, are you? You just want food. So the toughest thing for me at the moment is um, breastfeeding. I'm finding it really difficult for him to latch on when I'm trying to feed him at night time. The other night I was crying because I just couldn't get him to latch on properly and it was really like making me upset because I ended up having to make him a bottle because I'd rather him being like being, I'd rather him drinking formula than like being underfed for the night. But like it's a thing where like I just want him to be on completely breast milk because I don't want them to get used to the formula taste and the shape of the bottle and then like completely go off my breast milk. I've got the midwife coming over today for a checkup to make sure Khalil's a healthy weight. I'm hoping I can get some reassurance because I'm really worried I've not been breastfeeding right and I'm underfeeding Khalil. Hi, I'm Maths. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm one of the midwives. Right, if you're happy, we'll do the blood test. Isabel can hold baby and I can do the blood test. If you're happy? Or would you like to hold him? I'll hold him. Yeah, of course you can, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Just come back and start recording. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my darling, I know. <laughs> That's a different cry, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> So he was 3430, he lost to just above three kilos, and now he's three kilos and 280 grams. So he's put on nearly 200 grams, which is amazing for two days. So you're doing a really good job. That is actually really good. It's amazing what you've done in two days. This is such a relief. It's exactly what I needed to hear. How have the first few nights been? <sighs> the first few, like three, four, were really rough. Yeah. Like. Um, I, was really having, I was really struggling to get him to latch on like, before my breast milk came in, and then yeah. it came in and he wasn't latching on. Like, he would be crying and then it would just be, like, leaking up. The yeah. night before that, he had got up about three, four times and he just wouldn't settle. I was really crying, yeah. so I couldn't get him to latch on. Yeah. He was he needed his diaper change. I just felt like I couldn't do everything at once. Yeah. And I felt like, oh, and my gosh, I can't get him to latch. But, and it's fine to feel like that as yeah. well, isn't it? It's fine to feel as though, oh, my gosh, I can't do everything at once because... You can't do everything at once, yeah. can you? So we can offer you some breastfeeding support today. Should we um, try and latch on? <gasps> he looks very, very comfortable. 
So make sure you turn his um, body so he's towards you. Because so, you don't want to just twist him. You want to fully turn him so he's comfortable. Oh, okay. 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 So you wait for a big ah. Uh, that's it. Pop him closer. So you don't you don't go to him. He comes to you. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Look at you go. Amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. Tap yourself on the shoulder. <laughs> I think, like, the past few days have really boosted my confidence a bit about being a mum. It's because it was always, a, like, a flickering thought in my head, like, what if, like, once I give birth, like, it's no longer all glam and everyone's like... Because everyone was going to me, oh, you're going to be such an amazing mum. I can already tell. And I was thinking, what do you mean you can tell? Like, because like, I could be posing with pictures with the baby, posting him and stuff like that. But the whole time I'm struggling, like, he hasn't changed. He hasn't... He's not feeding well. And... Yeah. Well done, young lady. When you bring the crown on, kid. Although I'm still not feeling great, that doesn't matter because we're off to the pageant and I'm really excited. It's in Newcastle, so we're heading up today and I'm staying over before the big day. The theme is empowerment and I want to spread the word about endometriosis. It's really good to know my mum will be by my side. I literally couldn't do it if it wasn't for her. Let's go. Everyone always says, hey, quit it, are you sure you can do it? Like, you don't have to do it, don't feel any pressure. Whether I walk it, whether I'm using a Zimmer frame, whether I'm in my wheelchair, I'm doing it and I don't want Endo to take that night away from me. So regardless, I'm doing it, even if I'm not on my A game. Bring the crown on, baby. Yeah, I love it. Let's go. It's only a two hour drive to our Airbnb, but my pain is really bad and I can't wait to get there so I can lie down with a hot water bottle. I'm feeling nervous, my tummy's hurting. I can already feel my energy, like, suckling away. We are literally 10 minutes away from where we're staying, but Mum's had to pull over because there's something wrong with the car. We've got a flat tyre, kid. Typical, isn't it? Yeah, I've got the energy. <sighs> I'm going to crawl to the garage. Yeah. It's literally half a mile down the road. And if I need a new tyre in the morning, I need a new tyre, it's one of them. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs>